Oh my god, this team is next gen. Hell and Keller. This team is deaf, blind, and stupid. Oh, roll the one. Are you playing that tank game again? What other game would I be playing? When will you be making the review for this edition of When of Earth I Go? Did I just make a review on that crappy World War II movie on the Hellcat crew or whatever? When was the last time you looked at a clock? It's current year 2016 and a new WTH is posted. It's 2016? Oh dear. I don't know what to review. Like I thought it was still 2015. I thought it was like July or something. Review something from your childhood, a game based on a TV show or something. While you were spending the last year playing that game, they made casting for the new Power Rangers movie. They're making a new Power Rangers movie? What? Well, I guess I'll review something along that line then. I don't know what, but... Well, there is that one Genesis game I think that was pretty crappy. Nah, no. Lisa, thanks for the heads up, Poopa Joe. I was gonna review that terrible, terrible Tim Burton remake of Ch Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But I guess this will do. As, you know, the Power Rangers game, you know, is something more easier to review than another movie. So, well, Poopa Joe, wish me luck, man. When I was a kid, one of my favorite TV shows was the Power Rangers. Superhero wearing span spandex teenagers with attitude fighting the monster of the week with the mid to late 90s cheese. I used to collect all damn Power Rangers toys, the action figures, and the video games. When I went to a local video store as a kid, I seen that they had a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game on my beloved Sega Genesis. When I seen that, I knew why I had to rent it. But alas, all the good stuff ends right there. As when I took it home, I beat it within one half hour of getting it, and then my entire week was wasted, replaying it over and over again, trying to find some value in it. There are debates today on short video games lasting four hours or less, multiplayer only experiences, but if the scheme was released today, people would throw a fit, as able to beat it with under 14 minutes is short with no replay value. There are only five stages to this game. Surely you ask there must be other modes, right? Well that's uh, where you are wrong. There is only one player mode then the two player versus mode. This is a fighter that lacks the depth and nuance of a street fighter or the Mortal Kombat. The game has you fight Rita's uh Minions, just like in the TV show, with, mon with the monsters directly from the first season of the show. Each stage consists of two rounds. In the first round, you are in Ranger mode. Then, after you beat the monster, the monster grows. Then, you summon the mighty Megazord. Once you drain the monster's health, the Megazord uses a finishing mode, to which you cannot control, by the way, ending the stage. Then, you get rid of a saying she'll get you next time. Rinse and repeat for all five stages. The monsters you face are from the TV show, as I said, for the monsters you will be fighting are Minotaur, the great evil Green Ranger, Madame Woe, Goldar, and Cyclopsis. After beating the Green Ranger, you unlock him as a playable ranger for, the ne for all of the next two stages. The final stage, you play as either the Megazord or the Dragonzord. The fighting part of the game is lackluster at best. There are no good special moves, and the special moves that are there, they don't have the weight to them. You have, you see these attacks, but they're very, very hard to pull off, and they're, it's not worth your time. When you can just mash a button and get through the game, your, your basic punch and your basic kick. That's the only thing you need to get through the game. You don't need these special moves like using your blaster or these other weird, crazy maneuvers, because that's... Now, there's nothing there. It's not rewarding. As a game is so short, why would you spend time learning the moves? It's, you know, there is a better fighting game. The Power Rangers Fighting Mission, but I never played that. I think that's on the Super Nintendo, but I never pl I never played that, so I don't know. But if you want a fighting game, I, I, I should just go get that one, because, you know, it's more based on fighting each other. This, you know, there's fighting, but... 
it's not very deep. You know, to sum this all up, this game's a kiddie pool in both depth and size. I could end the review right here, but there has to be more to this game, right? There are eight difficulty levels. Surely there must be something if you beat the game on max difficulty, right? Well, let's try it. You know, to forego any, you know, frustrations of uh, this uh, terrible game, oh, let's enter some uh, game genie codes and uh, using this uh, power of emulation and uh, skip forward through the entire game within 10 seconds or whatever. Really? Is that all the game can give me is a lousy screenshot of the Rangers and both Me the Dragonzord and Megazord? What kind of reward is that? Like, I, I, like, I know I, I cheated, but if, I, if someone was doing this legit, that's a pretty lousy reward. No extra characters, no longer game. Uh, well, uh, I guess I could, I, I heard a rumor that if you beat the game on all eight difficulties, you, un you unlock a White Ranger. I doubt that anyway, but, uh, let's try that anyway. I'll be right back. I'm a glutton for punishment today. Well, I guess that's that. I was lied to. There's no extras. Uh, you know, I started from the highest difficulty of eight, worked my way down to one, and I got absolutely nothing from this effort. Well, I guess that's it. I talked about everything I did. I, you know, it's a fighting game. It's uh, a, a crappy one at that. And um, it's a terrible game. Uh, Poopy Joe, what would you give this game a out of 10? Wow, that is a pretty terrible game. I would rate this game a 2 over 10, as it's very short and has nothing to it. As they sold a game you could beat within a few minutes, if you are a skilled fighting game person. The game is a ripoff and the ending makes no sense, as the Rangers never destroyed Rita's palace in the first season or they never fought Cyclosis in the moon. My sentiment is, well, I give this game a 2 out of 10. I give that one point for at that... At just a little bit of effort for the ending credits as a at little animated little sequence of the summoning of the Megazord with the uh, eight, with the 16-bit rendition of the Power Rangers theme. As that's the only redeeming point I give it. As there is, you know, if I were to give this game a 1, that means there's no redeeming quality of this game whatsoever. This game does have that one little bit of redeeming quality as, you know, it has a genesis fied version of the Power Rangers song and that little animated sequence of the summoning of the Megazord, but, you know, at this point, I'll, I'll you know, I'll take what I, whatever I can get. 2 out of 10. So, uh, until next time, people, this is the Mr. Doctor Boy, and I'll check you out next time.